Hey guys, in today's video, we will train your polygonal model skills. Let's see how we can combine some shapes to create an interesting design. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Leave your like and comment here what you would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class. Let's start by creating a line. In thickness, we put the value of 20. Let's create a copy by holding shift and rotate the model so that it looks like this. I'm going to scale with cylinder up a little bit. We select bot and convert to poly. Now, with the boolean, we go to intersect option to create a new object. We can convert again and delete half. I'm going to add a loop to each face. Press Alt 1 and hold Shift for the line to follow in the flow of the shape. Here, we will extrude upwards then apply Open Sub Modifier to increase the number of polygons. I will convert again and add a line. This time, we use it rectangle. We adjusted its thickness and width. Again, we go to boolean, this time in the subtract option. With the cuts done, we will apply a symmetry and y, and then another in z. Now, let's close the holes with the bridge and the cap. vertices and then extrude the space to create the detail. On the side face, we will align them on the z-axis and rotate them to create a sliced ramp. Let's do the same on the front face. Let's also align these vertices. Now, let's create a holding at the top of our object. And the same on that basis. I'm going to rotate these vertices so that they are also aligned. Let's create a curve in this part too. Here, I will select the face where I want to maintain the current shape and apply Alt Smooth. Let's delete half of the model to apply a retopology modifier. In face counts, I will use 250 and select these two options. Now, let's convert it to editable poly and delete some loops. I'm going to adjust this vertex and apply a symmetry again. Let's convert, increase the height a little and adjust this front, making it bigger. Here, I'm going to add a support loop and then apply a bevel to this edge and also this one. We adjust this curvature. Let's add a loop here and increase our base a little more.
inner part of fronts, we will make it more rounder. Let's create a detail here with the chamfer and then extrude it. Let's select this face and apply an insert and loop to create a crease. I will use the chamfer to hold in the shape. Let's do the same on the back. Now, let's adjust these vertices to create a button for our model. We select some face and use the insert We hold in shift and extrude inwards. I'm going to use the insert again and then extrude it out creating the button. Here we can see that there is an error. I will select these two loops and delete them to create a new support loops. We see that at the back we also have the same problem. Let's solve it the same way. Once that is done, let's add some details to the front. Let's create a circle and adjust its position. We duplicate it and add a edit poly. Let's go to attach to only the tool. With the shell, we give thickness to the piece. I will use the insert to create a hole in the center. Let's select the edge and apply a chamfer. Let's delete the face. Inside, we will create some loops and then collapse it. For this back part, I will add details with text. I will type a random number. Let's adjust it and align with the model. I will use the shell to add a thickness. And finally, we will create a small button using a sphere. We adjust its size and position it below the numbers. I will change the colors to make it easy to see the details.
finally, we will create a small detail on the side of the model. A very simple detail. Let's create a triangle and extrude it to show the edge a little. And ready, the model is finished. I hope you like the video. Until next time, bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.